Today we're going to learn about introduction to the area under the curve in calculus. Let's say we have a problem like this. What is the signed area under the curve for f of x is equal to negative 2x plus 4 on the domain 0, 5? So let's try and solve this problem without calculus to understand what the area under the curve is. So before we start, let's first go over some terms. So the area under the curve, so this isn't the, it had, the area under the curve is bounded. So it's bounded by area under So it's bounded by the x-axis x equals a, the line, and the line x equals b, and f of x. So let's put this in words. So it's bounded by the x-axis. Now it's bounded by these two lines. So what are these two lines? Well, these two lines are the domain that we're looking at. So in this problem, the curve, or the uh, in this case the line, is bounded by x equals 0 and x equals 5 on both those sides. And it's also bounded by f of x, or the function. So let's take a look at two scenarios to understand what the sign of area is. So let's say we have a graph. And let's say that we have this function here. Let's say it's negative x squared. That is not negative x squared, by the way. And let's say that this is x equals a. So basically, let's say that we want to find the area under the curve on this domain here. So this would be the line x equals a. We don't know what a is. And this would be the line x equals b. And as we can see, we want to find the area under the curve from the domain a to b. And this is a closed interval. So this is this basically, this area here. So as you can see, it's bounded by x equals a, x equals b, and it's also bounded by this x-axis here. If it was not bounded by the x-axis, then it would be infinite, the area, because there is no lower bound. And, of course, we know that it's bound by the curve itself. So here we can get a picture of it being bounded by the two lines and the x-axis and the function itself. Now let's take a look at a different scenario. And as you can see, the area under the curve here would be positive. Now let's take a look at, the, at a different scenario. I'm going to leave it right here. Let's say that we have another graph with another function on it. And let's say this time it's a positive function, so it's like this. And we want to find the area under the curve on the domain, closed domain, A, B. So as we can see, we know that the area under the curve is bounded by x equals a, x equals b, and the function itself, and the x-axis. So when we shade this in, we don't get the area under the curve on the domain, rather we get the area over the curve. So, because we were looking for the area under the curve, and we didn't get the area under the curve, we got the area over the curve, the signed area, or the definition of a signed area, says that if you get the area over a curve, then that area is negative. 
So let's say that the area, that these two functions are the same, except this one is multiplied by negative 1. So let's say that this area would be positive 5. If this area is positive 5, then that means that this area, because it's the same function, and let's say it's bounded on the same interval, would have to be negative 5. So what the sine area basically says is it takes into account whether the area is under the curve or over the curve. So it's under the curve or over the curve. So now that we understand what the area under the curve means and what sine area means, let's get to the problem. So as I said before, we're going to try and solve this problem geometrically, not with calculus, so that we understand sine area and the area under the curve better. So before we get started, let's first draw out what's happening. We have a graph. So we have a graph, and on this graph we have a line, and the line has a negative slope, and we know that this line oops, intersects the y-axis at y equals 4, so let's say it intersects the y-axis here, so this point is 0, comma. Four. And now we need to find out where it intersects the x-axis. So to do that, we have to set this equation equal to 0 and solve for x. So negative 2x plus 4 equals 0. So that means that x is equal to negative 4 over negative 2, which is equal to 2. So it intersects the x-axis at 2 comma 0. And so now let's draw this line. So this is roughly what the line would look like, and that is not what a line would look like. So that's about as close as I can get to drawing the line part. <clears throat> and now let's figure out what we have to find. So we want to find the sine area under the curve on the domain 0, 5. So that means that it's bounded by the y-axis. And it's not always bounded by the y-axis. It's only bounded by the y-axis in this case because the left bound is at x equals 0, which is the y-axis. So rather, I should say that it's bounded by x equals 0 and x, the line x equals 5 and x equals 0. So now let's figure out what we have to find. So we know that the curve is also bounded by the x-axis or in this case the line is bounded by the x-axis, so we have to find the area under the curve. So we have to find this area and this area. So as you can see, this problem is rather simple. We just have two triangles. So let's start by finding the area of this triangle. 
So we know that the height of this triangle is 4 times the length of this triangle is 2 all over 2, which is equal to 4. So, this triangle has an area of 4. Now let's do the next triangle. So in the next triangle we have x equals 5 times now we have to figure out what the height is. So in this case, the height would just be from here to here, or the y-coordinate at this point. And this is only for this example. It might not be for the other examples. So it might not work for the other examples. So the y-coordinate of this point is, when you plug in 5, negative 10 plus 4. Negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. This point here, let's put that in, is 5, 6. Which becomes negative 15. So, now we have to add these two areas together. And notice how this area above the curve is actually a negative area or it's because of the sine area rule. So now what do we have to do? Well, from not here, it's simple. All we have to do is add up the two areas. So when we add up the two areas, we get negative 15 plus 4 is equal to negative 9. So the answer to this problem is negative 9. And today we learned about the sine area and the area under the curve in the video, Introduction to the Area Under the Curve in Calculus.